Hello! Do you have any issues while installing Android on VirtualBox? Do you want to know how to install it correctly without any kind of issues? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Android on VirtualBox the correct way. Please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with the videos that are going to be uploaded. Push the like button. And if you have any kind of questions, please leave a comment below. So here, in order to install Android, this is the right page, this is the source, this is a pure version of Android. It's here, www.android-x86.org, then here, the download directory, and then you need to click on this. Here, there are two versions, the 64-bit and 32-bit. You need to make sure that you have the right system type here, okay? So you can go simply to my computer or this PC, like here, right-click, properties, and then you will find the system type right in here. Here you see 64-bit. Okay, so now I'm going to download the 64-bit version. If you have 32-bit, you will see 32-bit, and then you can download this. Okay? Alright, I already have it downloaded here on my PC here. This is the one that I already downloaded. And I'm going to open VirtualBox here, and then click on Tools, in order for these options to be shown for me. Then click on New. Type here Android and then choose here Linux because actually Android is one of the Linux distributions. And then I click here and I choose Linux here. One second. Yeah, choose this option because I uh, got the 64 bit, so I choose the 64 bit. If you got the 32 bit, then you choose this one. Here, I click on this and then click on next and then need to make here, the memory, about 4 GB, it's recommended 4 GB, you can set the less one, but uh, 4 GB is recommended. And then next, here, choose this, VDI, yeah, let it be dynamically allocated, which means that the size of the virtual desk will be increased as per need, I mean like automatically as per need. If you using your this virtual machine and the um, the files inside have been increased or the number of files need more memory size, this will automatically will be resizing. That is why it's important, but it's a little bit slower than fixed size. Fixed size makes the machine or the virtual machine works much faster. However, this is very cool with the Android. Okay, so just click on next. Here, eight gigabyte is okay. Create. And then now I got Android in here, click on settings, and then as you see here, here I need to make sure that everything in here has been set properly. So I go to advanced, descriptions, that's okay, I go to systems, make sure that this is ticked, 4GB RAM, processor needs to be 2 at least, and then here enable PAI or NX, and then go to display, need to create this to 64 megabytes and in here I need to select this if you didn't set up the guest editions and it's not recommended because it's not very secure to set up the guest editions extension back is enough however a VBox here VGA need to be installed or checked here if you didn't install the guest editions and I don't need this as well all right so now everything has been set properly. I just click on OK and click on settings again and go to storage here, select empty, go here, choose this, add, I already opened this. This is the Android that I have just downloaded, the Android version. Double click, choose, then OK. I run Android here and now we're going to install it being here opened. I choose the third option which is installation, install Android 86. I'm sorry, yeah, 86x to hard disk. Yes, I click OK. And then create or modify partitions. Do you want to use GPT? OK. Here, choose new here. Enter, enter, whatever. It's not important. Then write. I choose yes here, enter, then here, I go down, then quit. Here I press on this, 
choose this XT4. You choose the format SD1 to XT4, yes. And do you want to install the bootloader GRUB? Yes, GRUB or GRUB, whatever. Do you want to convert it to MBR? Okay. And then no. Here you need to choose no, okay? Do you want to install system directory as read write? No. And wait it for it to be installed here. Syncing so the desk now. Then I need to reboot. It's being rebooting. Once it's running here, I need to choose advanced options. Go to boot from local drive and enter. Now it's working here. It's been installed correctly. We need to remove the CD media, the virtual one. In order not to be entering the installation, I will show you at the end of this video, okay? But let's actually finishing installing Android now. It's being loaded here. See, it has been installed. It's like you got a new phone. So I choose, yes, English, start here. And it's searching for Wi-Fi. It will be connected to your PC Wi-Fi network, okay? So, uh, I mean, like here, it will create a virtual Wi-Fi now. Now I need to click on this, see all Wi-Fi networks. And then as you see here, it's virtual Wi-Fi. This is like, you know, it's connected to Wi-Fi, but this is connected to your laptop to be connected to the internet. I choose this and then it's connecting, getting an IP address and so on. And now it's connected. You choose here, or you install your Android as you got a new phone. It will take a little bit of time till it here configures everything and uh, checking for updates. Now here like you see instructions and so on, I click on next and don't copy anything. I don't want to copy anything. Checking for info, it's like exactly like you got a new phone. And now I enter here the email address. If you remember, I created a fake one, which is called JSONB2222. I don't have to type at Gmail because it's already a Google account. And then click on next. Enter the password for that email. And then click on next. I agree. Here I need to set, see it said automatically as Cairo because I live in Egypt. Anyway, I just here click on next. And then more here, more and accept. I don't care about all of these because it's not an actual phone, right? Now then I click on not now here. Yes, keep anyway. Continue. No, thanks. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, headaches here, of course, but now it's everything now has been set. I'm almost done. A quick setup, quick step here. And then now you see, I just got Android. So now you have an Android on your PCs, see? Android with Google, you can install any app in here. It can have WhatsApp, Instagram, whatever, you can have anything here. If you want to install Instagram, for example, I just click on this and search for Instagram in here, then you'll have Instagram installed like exactly you do in your phone. But now you're using your mouse and this mouse works like a hand or a finger touching everything here. So I just like here Instagram, for example, and I want to download it or install it here, just click on install. And now it's being downloaded and then will be installed as you have in your phone. Alright, after I set everything here, I need to uh, close this and remove the removal of media, which is the CD, the virtual CD. I can press here and then power off, force power off, and then click here, go to storage, here, and then remove, okay? And once here, click on OK. I run this, it will run directly the Android. Let's see now. 
see I can run Android directly here. And once I click enter or press enter, I'm sorry, then it will be running or going to Android. That's all now. You have Android installed in your virtual box. You can use it as you have a phone right in your PC. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to push the like button, subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions and I will be responding to you. Thank you so much. Bye. -bye.